Paid. He um, is uh, in the band called Dead Poet Society. It's a rock band. But um, so I went from there, then I flew to Atlanta, and I had a connecting flight from Atlanta to um, Syracuse, where um, they live right now. And I did not pack appropriately, so I'm wearing her fiance's jacket. <laughs> because in uh, down Virginia, it is like still like springtime weather, like 60 degrees. But here, um, it is right now? 45. So major change. But right now we're headed to the football, uh, say basketball football game against the uh, Boston College in Syracuse. D1, I don't know anything about football, but we'll see. Very uncooked lard. It's 
exposes herself a number of times in that film. Look, I know it's up this book from Barnes and Noble is called Becoming Supernatural How Common People Are Doing the Uncommon it's kind of like a mind power book I guess is how you would describe it right yeah I think so about using your mind to heal your body I like these I'm interested in these kind of books because I do believe in it and it's backed up by what does it say Neuroscience, epigenetics. Epigenetics. Genetics. Epigenetics. <laughs> I mean this book because it's backed up by epigenetics. Or what did I say? Epigenetics. Tests. Neuroscience, epigenetics, psychomology. <laughs> Neuro. Are you serious? Uh, neurocardiology, electromagnetism. <laughs> and quantum physics. I don't know anything about any of those, but it sounds like a good backup source for this to be true. Yeah, I've gone through the first two pages, but I think it's gonna be good. I was in Barnes and Noble and this lady just pointed it out to me, so I'm like, might as well get it. Yeah, it's a good sign. But anyways, we also had those, um, Apple cider, apple cider, apple cider vinegar donuts. <laughs> apple cider vinegar, apple cider donuts, and um, we also put French vanilla, um, ice cream, and coconut whipped cream, all from Trader Joe's. Oh, so good. Oh no, and caramel sauce. We also got caramel sauce. <coughs> oh my god, it was so good. So we went to football game this morning. I had no idea what was going on, left during the half time. <laughs> because they were losing, so there was no point in staying. Boston College had it. And, um, else? Went to Barnes & Noble where we found these books. Spent a good minute just <laughs> standing in front of the, uh, what's that section called? Uh, self transformation. Yeah, there's like five of us just standing there reading a book in front of us. <laughs> Some girl walked up and was like, "Oh, is there a new release on something?" <laughs> she was searching, trying to find it. And that's when that lady pointed that book out to me. She's like, "Oh, this is really good. You should read it." So I was like, "Okay." Went over to Joe's next door. And that's where we got all that stuff. It's really good. But I didn't see any peppermint JoJo's yet, so that's. We did Ezekiel toast with cheesy eggs for dinner and a really large honey crisp apple. That was so good. And then, oh, I forgot to say at the stadium, the football stadium we had, um, we got hot dogs, but it was like a breakfast sausage, long breakfast sausage link on a hot dog bun. So I guess in the north that's what they consider hot dogs. And they also got hot coffee. We had about like how many cups of coffee I had today? I think I had about three cups of coffee. Average <laughs> cup of coffee. But um tomorrow I'll probably drink a lot more coffee again. Maybe let the uh French press sit a little longer or <laughs> put a little more skin because it tasted like tea this morning with a little cream. That's okay. It's still coffee and it's still with me. Alright. Time to get sleep. It's the next day, heading to a local coffee shop because the Starbucks here has a minimum wait of 40 minutes for a freaking drink. I mean, that's not even worth it. Um, I'd rather get some local coffee than some corporate coffee, but. What's the place called? Uh, Peaks. Peaks. We're going to Peaks. And um, we're going to be a little bit healthier today. Yesterday we went all out. Um, 
We're gonna watch our sugar intake today. <laughs> Hopefully. But, oh, crossing. Alan doesn't want to say that she's. Um, it's a bit chilly out, so, but it's really pretty. I enjoy the north and the cold. Most days, some days, maybe, but, all right, let's see what we get at this coffee shop. Get some uh, healthier choices going today, maybe. Gotta record again, because I got to uh, <laughs> so we're headed to Chipotle first and I will show you what I usually get when I go to Chipotle. I think it's one of the healthier options when you want to go out but something wasn't fast. It's better than Wendy's but Wendy's is good every once in a while. Um, I usually go for, well first off I can't do any kind of legume, a bean because my stomach clenches and dies, but I usually go for brown rice, light on the brown rice, and um, the salad bowl with chicken or barbacoa, and what do I usually go on top? The pico, guacamole, and I can't remember all the sides. I think that's all I get. Oh, I never tried that. The new one that came out? Yeah, if they have it, it's really good. Sometimes they run out. I might get that one back home. <laughs> <laughs> the one back home looks so dry and gross. I was like, uh, I'm gonna stick to my chicken. Change your plans, going to Double D's. I said that we were not gonna go corporate, but here we are. So many people here. Got a medium iced coffee with two pumps mocha, cream, and a turbo shot. Literally the best thing. I couldn't care if it was 20 degrees out. Duncan's iced coffee is so good. Freezing cold, yeah. yeah. I probably shouldn't be eating eating cream. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be drinking cream because dairy and it's like probably the cheapest form of dairy you possibly get. But it's good, so I'm gonna drink it. <clears throat> Did you get my? I pulled another hair for you. Dude. Lost my other one. Okay, yeah. Let's see if I slid it under. Yours. We'll probably be able to tell under the microscope too, but we need some like both sides. Yeah. Right on like a glass. Yeah. Maybe. Let's see if it'll <laughs> Can you see it? Let me see it. Yeah. I can just get a piece of this. Oh. Yeah, actually mm. maybe a few. Yeah. Turn it. In? Um, oh yeah, don't hold down on it too hard. I was like pull it in. See them. They're coming into focus. Okay, slowly. Shall we? Oh, yep. Right there? Yes. There it is. Okay, yeah. I can definitely tell that yours is thicker than me. <laughs> <laughs> I just press something. <laughs> Come on. Get the camera in there. Yeah, let me see. Maybe that's it's just because it's coarse hair or. I don't know. Oh. A little closer. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the color of pigments. Oh, you think so? <laughs> Just things we do in our spare time. <laughs>
here because today we're not really doing much we are probably gonna get something to eat maybe chipotle again and then we were gonna go to either an italian or an indian restaurant and that's about it not much today and i fly out tomorrow morning like 6 a.m tomorrow morning so i'm just gonna end it here before it gets too long so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed my little trip to Syracuse. I'll like this video if you haven't and if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you want to keep up with my videos. I'm not sure how consistent I will post, but I'll do my best.